Okay, a comparison of the new versus the old Row Perfect in as short as time as possible, nice and concise. Starting off with the front, with the front leg, we've you notice we've still got the an adjustable system. It was the old one with a bolt and a straight leg. Now an angled leg with a slot system with wheels. So that has functions that will be seen at the end of the video. Next, we have the position and the type of cage. It used to be a high resistance mechanism with a wire cage, a little bit prone to rust. The new machine is no corrosion, it's plastic and aluminium and it's down low, so it's a much more stable position for transport and for usage and greater smoothness. The resistance mechanism, you now change the resistance by a sliding vane on the perimeter of the new plastic cage. One touch can even be done while rowing, it used to be with changing the size of the discs on the side and or by changing one of the two sprockets. The new system, the new machine has only one sprocket. All resistance is done by changing that vein on the perimeter of the, of the cage. Next, of course, we've got a LCD, the RP Mate monitor. The old machine only had the computer link, although there will be the ability to retrofit a cage uh, onto the old machine in the future and with an RP Mate. The handle, we still have a wooden handle. We now have the Groskopf ergonomic handle with rubber handles and the Orflex spring loaded handle simulates the feel of an oar flexing in the water. A great innovation. The foot pedals are now solid metal still with an infinitely adjustable strap system although in future you could change that to a plastic foot plate if you'd like it but we believe the advantages of a strap system outweigh any plastic foot pieces. The ability to row one legged is a crucial feature of the Row Perfect. You used to have bearings on the side adjustment system, now they're standalone, still built in, so you can still row with one leg. An absolutely important change associated with the Row Perfect only. Okay, the seat. The seat is now padded, it's three inches higher for comfort both for, for users. The limited tilt system still applies, but not to the same degree, so it's a reduction in the tilting of that limited tilt row perfect seat. Still a great idea. We've also got a reduced footprint on the new machine. It's around about 300 mil. Just under 300 mil reduction in the footprint. Again, no messy pieces in between for one-legged rowing. To stand the machine up, just slide the resistance mechanism to the end and stand up. What's that? Less than 10 seconds? Compact, easy, Very small storage space needed. It's about two meters high, that bar. To move the machine, just lay flat, slide the mechanism to the front, lift, and you can move it on those neoprene wheels very, very easily. Much more stable too, of course, because of the lower flywheel. The last thing, the bar is now bent in just the one section We have a little bit of elastic there, which is really for beginners, or it also helps the, if the, if the, if the uh, area you're using on is slightly unlevel, that elastic can be absolutely invaluable. But once you're rowing well on a level section, the elastic is not really needed. So there we go. The last shot, the new. And the old. Bye.